Previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you f We're going home. As a family. done over there yeah one second thanks for coming with me it's scary out here I know they made you it's still nice that you came we're safer if we stick together it's gonna be dark soon yeah I know but it's cool you came I thought they were gonna tell my dad to go with me thanks you're welcome Come out all right, girls. Troy, get them tied up. We'll do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? I'm sorry. It's okay, honey. We'll chalk it up as a lesson learned, all right? Get the girls in back with the rest of them. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us. In. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey, did he hurt you? Hey, hey! Anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. The truck's empty. First off, we're in it, so it ain't exactly empty. If you don't want to help, then just say so, okay? I'll do it myself. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. 
You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Stop fighting! Please. All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. <sighs> At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. I told you already. He's gone. <laughs> Close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just... Just listen to them. They know him. What he's capable of. I... I'm scared, Kenny. Okay, hon. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Everybody... Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. All right. Up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. Be patient with them until it does. You take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did, but we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. Many of you already know a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we need you for something. Can it wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. Turn our way. It's nothing we can't handle. I need him. I need my dad. I I can't. He's he looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue... Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can say if you're messing with it. Just to survive, it's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light... A bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. 
Hey, guys. Reggie! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped to us you, but when we ran away. I know. I feel the same way. Why didn't he go with you guys when you left? I think maybe he was supposed to, but then he fell. And everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. Are you serious? You're joking, right? Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. Okay, sure. <sighs> Thank you. It means a lot. She don't speak for all of us. No, but if she doesn't want to cause trouble, she doesn't have to. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. 
Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. <gasps> I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, uh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Well, what should I be looking for? Stuff that they don't want us to know about. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep. I was, uh, distracted. Just wasn't thinking. There's all kinds of noise, hammering and stuff. I saw its shadow. It moved in front of one of our work lamps down here and knocked it over. Couldn't even see for a second. It reminds me of the That's jewelry store. Me. Can't believe you survived. <laughs> hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? I saw a fella try that a few months ago. Just ended up bleeding out. Ended up turning Ouch. Away. Yeah, like I said, it felt like Mike had done it before. He had a tourniquet on me real quick. This place so seems pretty secure. Name like Reggie? Can he? What? I'm just asking. Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. I'm gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Dad! Oh, you all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'll try. You'll do just fine. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Kick me. It's rude. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. 
but know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. You know, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example to you all. I was so tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't even must realize be earned. That. Pay attention. Kenneth will be I'll taking over later. Reggie's okay. duties outside okay, the wall. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Michael will continue on I showing his value. Nice finally... Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. So, I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some namby-pammy thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be... overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. No, you don't need to do that. She's already scared. She won't do it again. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Stop! You're not cuddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. So I'll up. God damn this thing. Oh, shit. Clementine! Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but I surely didn't help matters. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it. Keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. It was cold. Well, you got them skinny arms, and you ain't wearing a jacket. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, th I thought he was crazy. Why didn't you? Leave, I mean. If I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. 
I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. What changed? I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out myself. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... <sighs> I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. Sounds like you really respect him. It's not that. I just have sympathy for the man. Even though sometimes it's hard for him to do the same. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Sarah, everything is harder now, but you have to be tough to survive. My dad's never hit me before. <laughs> Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. Troy would have been way worse. Your dad had to do it. Carver made him. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like, the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. 
I talked to her. I think she's okay. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. That was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know. I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, no. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bell. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bell, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm... Shut up, the... shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We just... Time's up, Reggie. You had a task, and you didn't get it done. Looks to me like you failed. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Thanks for the help, girls. What's wrong, Sarah? Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of chances. Please, Bill, no! 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 Please! Ah! Weakness. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. I 
ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Kenny, calm down. I want to, Clem, but this son of a bitch keeps I just want to get the work done, and... Shit! Fucking grab something! Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Think it drew blood. Come all this way. Hey, hey, what was that for? You scared me. Well, I'm sorry about that. And it's about time you got here. You have any idea how hard this was? All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere, okay? They got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. When do you think the herd will be here? I don't know. It's hard to say, really, but I reckon it'll wash over this place when it does. See, Carver? Oh, he ain't dealt with anything like this before. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. No way to get you and, and everyone. Luke? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem. I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. 
I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? Answer me. I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is off fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. Rebecca! She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had to get worked out. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but... I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You have to be able to contribute. I understand. I knew you were a smart girl. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. And we're more alike than you think. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need if we're gonna get through this. The next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time.
because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw him when we were walking out to the work. He's right. I saw them too. Really? It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually... I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me, and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on. Up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. We're in 
trouble. 